Welcome to the first show of Arts and Music. I am your host, Victor Jamflong. Today on Arts and Music, we are pleased to have Zach Moore of the band Hero Destroyed, a metal band in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Signed with Relapse Records and voted top metal band of 2010 in the Pittsburgh City Paper. Welcome, Zach Moore. Thanks, Vic. How you doing today? I'm um, pretty good, Zach. Thank you for coming on the show. Hey, how's your uh, friends in Japan doing? My friends in Japan are okay. Good. Yes. Good. And I want everyone to think about them and pray for them if you can. Um, so let's talk about Hero Destroyed. So I got together with some friends of mine that we've always played music, and we decided to start the band up. And, um, you know, like I said, that was around 97 or 98. Mm. And throughout the course of history, you know, people come, people go. Um, and we really, we changed, we used to be called Knob. Okay, so Knob started it. Yeah, and... Uh, and who was involved with Knob? It was myself and uh, my friend AJ and my friend Bob. And, uh, and we played together for a few years, and eventually, you know, Bob moved out and someone else moved in. And we've had about 11 different members throughout the history of the band. Well, let's talk about how you got signed to Relapse Records. Uh, you know, it, it's sort of a, an interesting story. Um, we have a CD. Our very first Relapse EP um, was mm -hmm. uh, we recorded ourselves and self-released before Relapse picked it up. Right. And we recorded the album, and we put it out ourselves. And uh, a few months after that, we're friends with a, a band from Pittsburgh called Don Caballero, who are also signed to Relapse Records. Now, about those guys, I mean, did you see them playing, or how did you know them, and how did they influence this? Well, we've, I've actually known the guys, some of the guys in Don Caballero for a long time. Uh, mm -hmm. We're from the same, we're all from the South Hills. Uh, some of the guys that are in it now were from the South Hills, and we've been playing in bands and shows together since we were 15, 16. Okay. Um, so uh, I gave them a copy of our EP, and they were driving around listening to it one day while they were at work, and thought that Relapse would really like it, and sent it off to Relapse. Um, but it turns out that uh, a couple of weeks after that, I got a phone call from a guy in North Carolina saying, you know, hey, uh, the guys in Dawn kept sent me this CD, and I really like it. I'm hoping we can use a song on the EP. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was cool that the, those guys sent it off to not only Relapse, but this other place in North Carolina trying to help us out. Sure, sure. Um, so I called, I called the, the Dawn Cab guys up and said, hey, you know, thanks. You know, the guy from North Carolina called, and he said, what? We sent it to the wrong people. Uh, so they actually didn't mean to send it to the North Carolina. He got his mailings confused. and but he said, still sent it to Relapse. So and after the fact, he sent it to Relapse, who then contact, contacted us about a month after that, saying they so liked it. So did it, it still get out. released with the North Carolina thing you know, and Relapse, or did Relapse get upset and say, no, you can't do that? We're, you, know, you know, the North Carolina thing never went through. I'd never heard anything else about it. You never know. It might be out it, there. It's possible. It could be floating in cyberspace. <laughs> it's possible. Now, when you did that first EP... That was with your old drummer. Yeah, right? that was with AJ, the original drummer. Okay. So did he leave pretty much after that, or? It was shortly after we recorded it that uh, you know AJ had some other things going on in his life and he needed to have more time for other things, and uh, we brought Neil in. And it was actually shortly after we brought Neil in that Relapse contacted us. So it was they they sort of got the CD in that transition period. Okay. So. So you're happy with the guy you have now? Yeah, right? absolutely. And uh, if you want to give your current lineup of guys and members that you have now. Uh, we have Neil Andrus as our drummer. He used to play in a band called Commit Suicide uh, and also a band called Jumbo that we played a lot of shows with before. Um, now you let me hear a tape of that, didn't you? Yeah, Jumbo in the yeah, car. yeah, one okay. of my cars, as a matter of fact. Right. Um, uh, Pat McNicholas is our singer, uh, is a guy I went to high school with, so I've known him for a long time, although we didn't play music together until this band uh, came together. Um, Dustin Newman is our bass player, who's been playing in the band for uh, quite a long time now, probably about seven or eight years, and uh, he's a, uh, always been a major influence in the way that the band has uh, come together. So it's been you and him the longest? Yeah, okay. absolutely. And Jeff Turco is our other guitar player. He used to also play in a, a local band called Killing the Messenger. So did you see a transformation in the music on the second CD? And if so, how? Well, uh, yeah, I think that there was um, a little more, there was more creative freedom in the second CD. And the first one, we sort of didn't complete a lot of ideas that we had. Um, a lot of songs hit the cutting room floor, and, you know, we just... We, it was a little more regimented than it was with the second CD. And the second one, we definitely uh, branched out a little further. You know, we slowed some things down, we sped some things up, we made some things more intricate, we made some things simpler. And we even have a couple of slower songs that are in there. Yeah, I know there's a more atmospheric, yeah, there's, too. There's a couple there's things that are more atmospheric. in there, which is really nice. It's real nice. Okay, well, with that, with that said, we're going to check out the, uh, 
studio uh, video of working on the second uh, CD, which is Throws. And uh, check that out now. Uh, oh, I didn't do the chugs. Chug there? Yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to. Be... I didn't do the chugs. out of the greater Wilmerding area, you're pretty much useless. Any certain material from the first CD stick out in your mind? Was there certain songs that you liked? And did you write any of the songs yourself on that CD or not? You know, I, I, I couldn't say there's a specific song. Uh, you know, it's, uh, we, well, let me go back and say that we all write all the music. Um, I think that that's one thing that we really try to maintain throughout the whole process all the time is that everybody has creative say in how the song goes. Mm -hmm. It's very rare for somebody to write an entire song by themselves. Okay. It happens, but you know, even after that, it's not, you know, you're going to play this, you're going to play this the entire way through, and everybody else still puts their, their thoughts and, and, and variations into it. But we all, we all write the songs, mm -hmm. and I think that's what sort of keeps it interesting. So how long did it take to complete it? You did that? Uh, the first it? recording, um, because we were recording it at someone's house and, uh, you know, we had some weird time schedules, it probably took about six weeks to, to get finished. Six weeks. But it wasn't six weeks of every day. It was six weeks of, you know, let's throw an hour in here, let's throw an so hour in So is that six weeks of working in the studio, or is that... Or oh, the songs were written. Songs? The songs are written at that point. We go okay. to the studio and record and, and piece it together and find time to so read some So how long did it take you to do the songs? Oh, to write the, the seven songs that were on that? Right. Um, those were songs we were playing, so I, I can't give, really give a time frame on that because they're just songs that we had, and when we found the time, we hit the studio. Okay. Well, here we'll put in the uh, Cause for Cancer video, so you can see that.
So what advice do you have for anybody pursuing a career in music and uh, from what you've learned so far? You know, I think the best advice anyone ever gave me was just keep playing. You never know when that opportunity is going to come up. And if you stop playing, then you're never going to see that opportunity. But just keep playing, keep pushing, keep trying it. You know, people are going to come and go in your life. You know, members are going to come in and out of the band. But if you just keep doing it, good things are going to happen. Now, you believe in your band being like a brotherhood, though? You guys like brothers? I mean... <laughs> yeah, we're absolutely a, a dysfunctional brother family. And like I said, there's a lot of joking around and a lot of fun that we have. Any upcoming shows? People can come check you out. Yeah, we have some things in the works right now. Um, uh, a lot of things are still floating, so we don't have concrete information on some things. But uh, our next sh absolutely sure show in Pittsburgh is July 2nd at the Altibor with uh, Zayo. And uh, that'll be a pretty cool show. They have, those guys haven't played for a while. So. Did you say the Altar Room? or The Altar Bar in the Strip District. Altar Bar, that's right. That's right. Okay. And for all of our upcoming shows, you know, uh, as we get things confirmed, we always post them on our websites. Um, you know, we're on Facebook, we're on MySpace, we're Would on you like Twitter. To tell them the URLs, possibly. Or? It's always Hero Destroyed slash you know, or uh, MySpace.com slash Hero Destroyed, Twitter.com slash Hero Destroyed, Facebook.com slash Hero Destroyed, and our website is uh, Hero Destroyed.com, where you can stream the entire album of throws there. And there's also links to all of our social sites from there. Well, brother Zach Moore, thank you so much for being thank on you, the show. Zach. I really appreciate it.